Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's Sean Elvis. Um, today's video is called Why a Woman Cannot Keep a Man. Why a Woman Cannot Keep a Man. You know, the reason I'm making this video is because in the 1950s, 90% of all households raised children with both parents. You see? But nowadays, only 60% of households are raising children with both parents. So the rise in single mother our single parent households um, has a variety of reasons which I'm not going to go into in this video but what I am going to talk about is the importance of staying together okay the importance of love and fearing God because it's become too easy in our culture today for women to leave their men you know over over 80 percent 75 to 80 percent of all divorces are initiated by the woman and, you know, our society is breaking up families and it's not good for our children or our next generation. So my point of this video is to bring awareness to the fact that we have a generation of kids growing up without a mom or without a dad in the home. You know, so my question is, why can't women keep a man nowadays? You see, it's easy to get a man and, you know, not not hard for a woman to attract a man nowadays. But to keep a man, that seems to be a problem, you know. So, you know, these girls nowadays, they think that they're something special because they can get a guy. They, oh man, I, I went through guy after guy after guy, right? And, and they think that there's something, you know, hot because of that. Um, well, I got so-and-so, you know, that's just another notch in my bedpost. And, and, and you know, they, they think that they're becoming like men now, like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, bragging rights for uh, getting another notch, right? But the reality is, it's easy for a woman to get a man, right? But keeping a man, that's the challenge. You know, that's why you hear all these feminists nowadays uh, bashing marriage and bashing long-term com long commitments. And that's why they got to say, oh, well, I'm a strong, independent woman. You know, I'm proud of it, right? Because they know it's hard for a woman to keep a man. That's why the divorce rates are so high. That's why a lot of women go through guy after guy because there's no honor in a woman sticking with her man anymore. There's no shame to a woman who leaves her man. You see, any woman can get a man's attention and give him sex for a while. But keeping a man, that takes work. That takes effort, you see. It takes sacrifice. It takes commitment. Too many women blame men because they are childless and single. But maybe they ought to ask themselves, you know, if I got this man, why couldn't I keep this man, you know? Well, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30, Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. See, part of the reason I think a woman can't keep a man is because they don't fear the Lord. They rely on their beauty to attract a man. But because they don't fear the Lord and obey His commandments, they can't keep Him, right? And, but the flip side of this, to the same coin, is because a woman's beauty, uh, or excuse me, because a woman's beauty is getting, is getting her all this attention and all this um, praise, if you will, too many men are out there praising women for their good looks and they don't realize that the bible says that praise should be reserved for the woman who fears the lord right the problem is men you know we're giving too much attention to these good looking women you know they don't care if she's ungodly you know all they care about is her looks oh if she looks good you know if she's got if she's got a pretty smile or whatever right but this leads to vanity. You know, it makes the woman falsely think that she's worthy or that she's special just because she's pretty, right? Whether it's whether it's a like on Instagram or simply uh, viewing a naked woman on, on some porn site, right? You can't praise a woman for her beauty. You need to praise her because she fears the Lord. And as a result, these women are saying, well, why should I fear the Lord? You know, the guys are going to sleep with me anyway. You know, they're going to look at me on the internet <laughs> anyways. They're going to talk to me. They're going to take me out on dates. So, you know, why should I be a good girl? Why should I fear the Lord? Why should I do God's will? You know, and too many men falsely believe that, you know, the answer to this is to make things worse by having sex without commitment. You know, the old pump and dump, you know, that'll teach them a lesson. No, guys, that's, that's, that's not going to teach them a lesson, okay? That's just going to give them praise, right for not fearing the lord for not doing what the bible says you know the only thing that's going to teach him a lesson is to live a clean lifestyle to live by example 
you know, and to preach and teach, uh, teach these girls how to live the right way, you know, and what's the right way to live? How do you follow the commandments of the Lord in this, in this uh, modern society? And what, um, when they start doing good, you know, you encourage them to keep going. You praise them for doing good. You praise a woman who fears the Lord and does what the Lord says, you know. See, um, it's always understood that positive reinforcement is always better than negative reinforcement. And if, you know, if they don't want to get it right, if they don't want to fear the Lord and do what's right, well, then you ignore them. You shame them. You know, you don't give them any praise. Instead, you give them rebuke and you give them shame. If you think you're going to feast your eyes on all these whores and, and, until you have all your fill, you know, and, and it's so easy nowadays with everybody's got a smartphone and access to the Internet. You know, there's no shortage of porn that you can just go look, look and feast your eyes on all these whores, right? If you think that's somehow going to hurt them, no, you got another thing coming, man. That's going to hurt both of you. Many of you watching this video will, are going to downvote me and get angry with me because you think that, you know, I'm trying to make life difficult on you. You know, I'm trying to tell you how to live your life, you know, but, but this, is, this is, it's one thing that leads to another, guys. It's the domino effect. You know, let me remind you what the Bible says. You know, Proverbs 31 verse 30, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. You know, I'm not trying to keep you guys on the plantation. I'm trying to actually get you guys off the plantation. I'm trying to restore order and justice to this world. You know, um, you guys who think having sex with a woman isn't praising them. You got another thing coming for you. You know, a woman, uh, when you when you give her attention, when you give her that sex, you know, that's you praising them. When you look at them on your computer or your smartphone, that's you praising them. If you just look at them at the bar or, or make a comment, you know, or these or these cat callings or whatever, that's you praising them. You know, and they can say that they don't like it all day long. But the fact is they love the attention. They love the attention. They eat it up like uh, <laughs> they eat it up. Like it's, um, anyway, what we need to do is renew our minds. You know, no more praise for women who can't keep a man. No more praise for these whores. Shame to the whores. And on the flip side of that coin is shame to the whoremongering men. Shame to the guys who give praise to these whores. Shame to the guys who pump and dump women because that's just feeding their already overinflated egos guys instead we need to be glorifying and honoring the women who keep their man who stick with him who fear the lord who support their man and have children and stay married now i'm not saying there's something wrong with admiring a good uh, uh, a woman's looks but you need to remember where did her looks come from she didn't she didn't uh, make the, her her uh, looks that way herself that came from the lord you know, if you see a good-looking woman, give praise and honor where it's due to God. You know, praise God. But the Bible says beauty is vain. See, if you don't acknowledge that her beauty comes from the Lord and God's not getting the praise, you're going to make the mistake of praising her instead, right? You see, King Solomon knew this. King Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. And he came to the conclusion that he was still empty inside. It's all vanity, he said in Ecclesiastes. It's all vanity. It don't matter how good looking a girl is. If she does not fear the Lord, eventually you're going to get sick of her, right? What Solomon learned was that you can't buy love. No matter how rich you are, how good looking, how famous, no matter if you're the king, you cannot buy love. Love is something is everybody's free will choice. You know, if a woman loves you, she will fear the Lord and do what God says and stick with you. And that's what makes love so special because it's a gift um, the other person's giving you, you know, it's not you putting a gun to their head or anything. It's, they are freely choosing to do this. See, I loved a woman once before I tried my best to do what God said. And I tried to fear the Lord, you know, and, and I wasn't perfect. I'll admit it. You know, I, but when I messed up, I said, I was sorry, I'm going to make it right. And when she messed up, I would forgive her. You know, and I try to help her uh, make it right. See, that's love guys. And if you think the answer to your problem uh, to uh, the problem of women not keeping a man and not fearing the Lord is that you're going to go out and just have a one night stand, slam and scram, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Well, you're just going to stoop down to her level. <laughs> you're just going to become just like her, a whore, a whoremonger, you know, and, and just like a drug addict at some point, 
you're going to be left ruined. You're going to fall into a pit that you can't get out of. You're going to be financially ruined, physically ruined, spiritually ruined, emotionally ruined. And at some point you're going to break down, you know, because it's a two way street. See, if you don't fear the Lord, if you don't fear God and do what he says, you're going to end up feeling empty inside. Vanity, vanity. It's all vanity, right? And slowly you're going to destroy yourself and you're going to kill yourself because you're going to be depressed, right? You're going to seek ways to uh, uh, um, to try to aid the pain, but it's going to make it worse. You're going to seek aid in pornography. You're going to seek aid in drugs. You're going to seek um, relief in, in alcohol or whatever your, your vice is because you're going to know that deep down inside you're trash. You didn't follow the commandments. You didn't fear the Lord. So no matter how many women you get, no matter how rich you get, if you don't obey the Lord, if you don't fear the Lord, you, you, you're not going to have any love inside you to give anybody else. And eventually you're not even going to be able to love your own self. You're going to grow to hate yourself and nobody's going to respect you. So, you know, my point is not here to bash you guys, right? See, that's what women are doing today. You know, these whores think that, you know, there's something special because they can go from guy to guy, you know, and guys can be the same way. They think, well, I can watch all the porn I want, you know, but, you know, that attention that these women get is only for a second. You know, that Instagram hit that they get is, is only going to validate them for a second. And then they're going to go back to feeling empty inside. You see, I've been there, guys. I've done that. I've done these things. And, and it's not a place that I, I, that I want anybody. I, wouldn't, I don't want anybody, even my worst enemy, to be in this lonely, dark place because that lifestyle is lonely, right? And I don't wish anybody to be there. But if you're watching this video, maybe this is you. Maybe I'm reaching you. Maybe I'm speaking to you right now. I'm here to tell you guys, don't beat yourself up. You know, I was there, but there's forgiveness. There's hope at the end of that dark tunnel. You know, you can get your confidence back. You can learn to respect yourself again if you turn to the Lord, if you fear the Lord, you know, because you're going to uh, grow to hate yourself and think that you're trash if you're not fearing the Lord. But what I'm telling you guys is that there's forgiveness. I promise you, I will forgive you. Jesus Christ is definitely going to forgive you. But you have to be willing to do a complete 180. You have to be willing to change your lifestyle, put away the porn, put away the drugs, put away the alcohol. You know, that's the only way that you're going to get through this, you know, just like a girl. You know, any girl can keep a man, but or excuse me, any girl can get a man, but who can keep a man, right? The challenge is not just getting your life clean, get that stuff out of your life, but to keep it out of your life. That's the real challenge, you see. It may be the hardest challenge you've ever had to do in your life. You know, when society is, is, is telling you, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You can go ahead and do that. You know, there's no shame in committing adultery. There's no shame in fornicating and pumping and dumping women. But you know what? There's no, there's no honor in doing any of that stuff, right? But it's possible. You know, you may think that you've, you've never done that before. You know, I've never read the Bible. I've never feared the Lord before. It's, it's going to be hard. But you know what? I'm telling you, it's doable. It's doable. And you're going to be glad that you did it once you do. You know, because you can have a happy and abundant life. You know, if you don't want these kids to grow up, 50% um, of kids growing up um, worse off than you, right? You need to change. You know, you need to be the example out there. If you're watching this video, you know, this is on you. You know, you are the resistance. You are the one who has to step up to the plate and make things happen, make a change. And the only thing that you can change or the best thing that you can change is your own life. Right now, change your own lifestyle, you know, because I don't want to spread uh, any more disease. I don't want to spread any more um, hurt or pain in this world. That's why I chose to fear the Lord so I can have love in my heart and I can share that love with other people the rest of people in the world so in, in closing what can I say you can't buy love guys love cannot be bought but Jesus said if you love me keep my commandments and a woman who is not willing to stick with her man she doesn't know what love is she has no fear of God you see she's not worthy of praise so stop praising her stop praising these these women who do not fear the Lord. That's my message for the day, guys. I hope um, the Holy Spirit reached you through the words that I spoke. And until next time, God bless you guys.
Um, in closing, I'm going to close with a verse because, uh, you know, I always give God the last word. So um, today I'm going to be reading from uh, the New Testament, um, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, just verse 1 and 2. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy. Peace. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 says, We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I scourged, have I succorded thee. Behold, now is the, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Amen.